Okay, in step one, we added a brass rod onto the bottom of the saguaro cactus. Uh, the second thing I did after I pickled it is I had to take a file and you need to make sure that you file all the way around this so that it will fit into the cone like that. Now, this is a great system and it has a lot of um, really good things about it. Number one, it's, it's a very inexpensive way to make molds because we're going to use a toaster oven in place of a vulcanizer. Now when I created this this setup here, I did it with, I started out with the round mold frames. I got three different sizes. And then I got to thinking, I was at the metal supply place and I saw these and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a I'm going to get a bunch of these made. So what's great about these is it takes very little mold rubber. I got two two thicknesses, 3 quarter inch and 1 inch. And so we're going to start we're going to use the 3 quarter inch because I mean this saguaro takes almost no mold rubber. It's not that that thick and it'll work perfectly in here and we'll save a lot of money than if we were to use a bigger mold frame. So what we're gonna do, let me find my... Now this Telk, I order it in bulk and it it does not have all the chemicals in it that are known to cause cancer. Uh, people have asked me that. You still wanna, you don't wanna breathe it in. So we set that down like that, fits in the same mold frame, and today I'm going to use the Castaldo's Econosil. Uh, I use a bunch of different ones. Many of, many of them work really well, and so what we want to do is telk the bottom like that. We're going to fit that down into the mold frame. Now you want to keep it clean because you want the two pieces to adhere to one another. So we'll grab the second piece. You got to peel off the paper. And if you look around, you can see there's other paper on here. You want to pull that off too. So this one doesn't have any talc on the one side because it's going to we want it to adhere to the other one. Push it in like that. Now, we have our saguaro cactus. We're going to push that down. We're going to. I like this mold rubber sometimes because it's so soft that the piece will just literally push in there. Okay. You want to get it centered. So the next thing is we have, these are called mold locks. And we're going to push these in. Uh, with the mold locks, I like to have the whole side down. Now this is a great way for people who have not made a lot of molds. Because it, this one is going to, possibly is going to have a little bit of cutting. But very, very little. Uh, mostly it's going to pull apart, and I, if, I, if you haven't cut a lot of molds, it's just a lot safer. Now we push those in. Now at this point, we take our talc, and we're going to powder this whole side here. And then we're going to take another piece of mold rubber here. Make sure there's no more uh, paper on the side. So then we take and we want to telk this because we don't want these two pieces to stick together. We go like that and we fit that down in there. Now this mold rubber is one quarter inch thick and I have found that four pieces is about right. Um, it will press down in there and it will 
compact really well. So now we'll take our last piece. This is kind of a little one, but we don't need to fill the entire side here. I'm going to stretch it out like that. Smash it down on there. I try and keep it so that it's kind of within the frame. Once it's in the toaster oven, it'll flatten out. It'll come over the edge, and that, that's okay. But if it's big in the center, then when I put the top on, it's going to squish it down over the piece. Okay, so now we'll powder this. We'll powder the other side here. Set it down. i got to get some... Uh, Wing nuts here. So the toaster oven is set at, I've got it at 350. It's got a little thermometer inside. And in the time it takes to make the mold, uh, it'll be warmed up to the temperature I need. Which again is, uh, it's really between 330 and 350. And then this will go into the toaster oven for 50 minutes. 5 zero, 50. So you want to tighten these down as even as you can. And that's it. So we'll put it in the toaster oven, let it cook, and then we'll... Move on from there with another video. All right, thank you.